six tonight. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. Every game critical in the postseason. This one, no different, and we are underway. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Noble Seabrook's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Does it again with the stop. Let's see what the officials are calling. Banks going off for interference. will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Score this game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Takes that pass back at the point. Huge steal in his own end. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Yeah. Score! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Noble Seabrook's aggressive start has paid off because they've got one on the board. They've got one on the board. They've really set the table, James. It's all ready to go. The meal is about to be served because they have been all over their opponent right now, especially being the away team. You want to send a message early, playing real aggressive. Sends it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Well, that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. What matters now? Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Well, that's a great shot, James. I mean, with his head up, he looks at the goaltender. Quick release that beats the goaltender in five hole. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And off the draw, they take the puck. Chelebink's got the puck against the half wall. He was locked in there. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Takes a shot. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Chaprikov's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Murphy's on this power play unit, and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here, guys. McKay has won the draw here, and they're going the attack. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a chance. Scores! Putting the special in special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. Noble Seabrook's got up by one in the back half of period number one, and they're really starting to assert themselves now here, Cheryl. You said it. They've been assertive, and they've been dominant in terms of shot share here, James. When they see an opening, they are taking it, and their opponent really doesn't know what to do. Puck picked up in the open ice. Shot! That's stuck! Hashtag blocked! Shot attempt completely fails on that. Goes on target. 
We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Another special team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Yakovlev. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Noble Seabrook's penalty killers deliver a huge effort to keep that one goal lead intact. The end of a period in a tight game and you take a penalty? Well, the PK unit, they've got to do a job and get you to the intermission. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Takes a shot. Scores! His first on the playoffs. And the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leading a lasting impression. of this period, we got a tie game. Noble Seabrook's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Steps inside the line. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Well, let's see who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Tell you Bing's performance in the first period was lackluster. They didn't generate any offense, and they weren't attacking with any kind of speed. They're going to have to find a way to shore that up, James, because their opponent is really taking it to them. They're fortunate that this game is still tied. Well, he's frustrated with this call, and he's going to argue it with the official, but guess what? It's going to be a call. It's not getting changed. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Chelebink's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save! Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Dobin's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out battle, when you out will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. And he's going to hang on for the whistle and listen to this place and call. Job well done. And the fans are letting him know it, James. They are on their feet right now, and such a great feeling for him after that huge save. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And there's the save. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Kogolov's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Receives the pass. And then carries off a body in traffic. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within
within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Noble Seabrook's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. Quick pass to Beck. The Snowflakes have the puck in the corner. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, you can see the pent-up frustration. That's his second penalty of the period. Now he's put his team in a compromised position. Not to mention he's affected their rhythm. They'll play some four-on-four. Four. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Passes out front. The shot. Score! and the nerves when you're a rookie and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. Tractor strike late here in period number two. What a huge momentum lifter for them. And I don't know if they'll want the intermission, James, because you can certainly feel their temperature rising, can't you? It's when you feel that certain something coming at you. It's like a wave, and they have it right now. The Snowflakes gain possession. Great poke by Kratzkoff. Too much traffic in the lane. He was totally locked in on that play. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? No, well, Seabrook has got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. they got to do something when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Murphy's scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. Technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. certainly had more shots than they have but listen when you execute you find a way to get to the middle of the ice and you look at the opportunities and capitalize this is what happens well, continues here but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw what a stop that was oh uh, yeah and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now james they're still on their feet they're electric right now and really it's a nice feeling why because it doesn't always go this way so when you have it you embrace it Snowflakes have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra. 
for a tacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. on everyone on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. Setters are set. Face-off ready to resume play. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And now it's grabbed by Mikheyev. Here's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Scores! And just like that, they take that momentum a huge shift. I mean, listen, their opponent scores, and instead of allowing them to build the confidence on it, they stomp it out right away. That's exactly what you want to do if you want to be a competitive team. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. The snowflakes carried along the wall. And he turned that one aside. And out comes the extra attacker with the goaltender parked on the bench. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw.